Hello everyone, welcome back to Project Hospital, part 6 of the series. This part, we're going to begin to work towards our next goal, which is hospitalization. So, uh, where's the... So where is the thingy for ambulances that I saw earlier? Yeah, here it is. Okay, so... Okay, so... Ambulance hasn't been unlocked yet. Okay. Alright, so we guess we need to get the rest of the stuff in first. Okay, so the clinic is now open. I can get these cleared out. There we go. Alright, so... What we'll do is we'll leave this eventually. That'll be the connection between the clinic and the hospital. Same with that. Except for a left... Same with here. That'll be also a connection. And then here be there an another connection okay so we get 80 patients a day the only thing we don't have is the ICU yet we don't have access to it yet So we can go ahead and pay down that loan a little bit. We still owe 360 grand. So we could either do that or we could also work toward invest that money. The clinic is making money. But we only have one shift right now, except for janitorial. Today doesn't look as good, but... but look at that prestige rating. 90%. Although it's gonna fall here shortly. Right now, our prestige is in the 90s, but watch it just tum tumble down here shortly. Yep, there it goes. So we have probably about 50. Looks like we're not quite going to get to 60 patients a day. Taking care of 77% is not bad. The emergency department right now is lacking a little bit, so... Oh, okay. That's finally working. We're going to actually take out another 20 grand and we're going to build another doctor office. Ok, 
Okay, so now we need another doctor. Need it during the day. Ooh. Yes, Jennifer White's our best option. Not a very good option either. Man, she's crappy. Let me get enough. Spend some money. There we go. Margaret Davis is much better. Okay, so that gives us another doctor. So we're going to start out the day at 7000 almost $8,000. Not bad. Now we do have about 120,000 we could borrow if we so choose. And you know what? I kind of so choose. We'll borrow that 127. We're up to 127,000. Then this way I can build. Trauma Center. We're going to actually have a couple of trauma centers. We're going to build some operating rooms. Okay, it looks like we're just going to be able to have one built. Okay, interesting. Okay, and let's see here, what else can we put in here? build put in a couple of these observation rooms So we still need a nurse station and an on-call room. Okay, so I'm going to need to take down.
There's the nurse station. Okay, there we go. So we have enough hospitalization rooms now. So we just need staffing. Patricia Green, Patricia Cole. Um, look okay. You look all right. You're all right. And you. And then Barbara Moore. Judy Clark. Okay, so now we've got our day, uh, our night shift. So our day shift, we got Mary Johnson. Ooh. Fraser Walker. Frank Thomas is really good. Ooh. This guy's here. We're okay. okay. So now we get the ICU unit. Jennifer Hernandez is about our best, and Kate Cole. Okay, so now... Okay, so now we got that done. Go ahead and build the ICU unit. Oh, maybe. Okay, nope, never mind. We're running out of money. Okay, so we need more... more of the incentives now. Yeah, we need more of the incentives at this point. All right, so at this point in time, we can now perform real operations. Let's go ahead and it's a hospitalization, the ICU. Okay, so we need more stuff for that. All right. But we do have the stuff for this for emergency. Okay, so when can we get the ambulance? Okay, ambulance hasn't been unlocked yet. Okay, so the ICU unit maybe? It's an ambulance. Nope. 
Okay, so we'll see here what kind of patience I'm getting now. Ooh. Wow, we're getting more critical patience now, though. We're definitely getting more critical patients, though. Which is kind of interesting. Pulmonary hypertension. Another one, pulmonary hypertension, HHD with the heart failure. Hospitalization on cardiology. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so hospitalization on cardiology. Okay. okay. So, wow, we need too much stuff, I think. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to have be able to do that. I don't have enough money. Wow. Okay, so we're kind of stuck there. For right now, we're kind of stuck. We don't have enough money to do hospitalization right now. Yep. Yep, we have to transport her to another hospital. Alright, twenty grand. Okay, so next up probably go ahead and build some wards or something. Through here we got the Observation, this will probably be more stuff for ICU and nope. Okay, we got hospitalization. Irritable bowel syndrome. Sorry, I don't have don't know that I can get. Put in a few hospital rooms. And so we could take out a 
that wall and do a nurse's station. Gonna get rid of one more wall. Oh, I got it on the wrong side. Oh well, that's alright. We'll just get rid of that wall. Okay. There we go. Put in that nurse's station. This will be the last one, I think. A few more minutes. Um, so, let's see. Now we got three awards. Diagnostic unit. Okay, what, how much is that? 10,000. Okay. Let's go ahead and take out these walls. Matter of fact, for the hospital part, we'll just take out the rest of the walls. that. That'll be the connections. Leave another little gap there. Those are the connections to the clinic from the hospital. Okay, now... We need an on-call room. Right there, and then diagnostic unit. Right there. Okay, so high dependency unit. That can go right over here. Cardiography unit, sonography unit. There we go, and sonography unit. Now we got all that done. Now it's just a matter of getting all the staff. Oh, 
Okay. Guess I can't get any more staff. So yeah, we're gonna have to transport those hospitals, those people over to the hospital. Okay, so... Okay, so it looks like we can do that at least. And we can at least put these people in. USG is required. There we go. Oh, cardiology. That's why. Lisa Allen. Okay. Mary Smith. Margaret Adams. Mary Martin. Okay. So we at least have day staff done. Now we need night staff. Kate Gonzalez. Jane Thomas. Holy moly. This may bankrupt us. Okay, we need cardiology again. Jones, Nancy Anderson. This one we need USG. Yeah, that's not so bad. Okay, so we got general surgery now with hospitalization. All right, twenty grand grant. Yeah, I know. I know, we need hospitalization for other departments, but that's expensive. Okay, so... So Peter Adams is getting treated now. Okay, so at the end of this day, we're going to wrap things up. We got 60 patients done. No free bed. Fraser Lee. Um, we can put you in that. Put you in general surgery so that way you have a bed. Okay. Yeah. Yep. You have to get transported to another hospital. But hey, we got some of our hospitalization done.
Oh, interesting. There's another person here. Oh, Margaret Wright. For hypothyroidism. Huh. Okay. Okay, so we're going to end this part here in just a minute. Now, now, things will be a little bit different. Once these are up, um, I'll kind of settle down a little bit on the recordings. As far as for this uh, particular one. Okay, so ooh, he's waiting on a bed. Okay, so I need I actually need more beds. What we'll probably end up having to do is build this whole section just as the ward, eventually. This whole section here will be nursing and everything else. Or, we may have to go up a floor, which I'm not sure how to do yet. Oh, elevator. Okay. I still don't have access, I don't think, to the ambulance. No. Okay, so... I'm gonna go ahead and skip through the night. Oh, oh lord, Michael Thomas got drunk. Okay, that works. We got 30 more grand, 20 grand. One intern. Oh, we get ambulances now. Alright, well. We're gonna leave it there. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode.